Good morning. I'm getting ready for work and I thought I would just let you join me. Uh, I enjoyed my look I wore, I made yesterday of, and boy the lighting's better. It has all, it has to do with the sun. The sun's not up yet. It's uh, 7.20 a.m. It's the real time. I have a clock in my house that has the right time. Pat's big on keeping the clocks pushed ahead so that we're early or on time everywhere we go. Most often we're early. I'm going to use the uh, Cover FX Blurring Primer again today. Uh, I think if you're oily, normal to oily, you would like this. My makeup held up all day. Even at the gym, the gym is really hot now, and I get a pretty good sweat when I work out. And I had some sweat roll. I don't sweat very much. I never have, but I did have a little bit of dewiness rolling down my face yesterday, and my makeup stayed really pretty. You can look at my Instagram. Y'all follow my Instagram. It's... Uh, if more of you interact with me on Instagram, I'll post more. It's uh, at Jenny Charleston Makeup Artist. That's what it is. At Jenny Charleston Makeup Artist. Follow me on Instagram, and if y'all interact with me, I'll, I'll post more often. As it is, not many of you. Not many. It's not y'all's, not your fault, but. I'm going to use my. Uh, Wayne Goss brush. It looks like I have some new freckles. I went and sat out in the sun yesterday when I was... I don't know what I was doing. Uh, I was trying to decide. I had finished editing a video and I was trying to decide what to do next. Rather to go to the gym, do something constructive around the house like the carpet. I have a Bissell, I guess you, I don't know what it's called. It, it puts water down and sucks it up. Puts water and soap down and sucks it up and it has a brush. So is that a steam cleaner or a shampooer? Whatever. Anyway, every once in a while, well every night we let Taco lick our plates when we're done. We try to make sure there's nothing on the plate that he's not supposed to have. But when Pat's home, he salts the food a lot more than I do. Because Dr. Berg and Thomas DeLauer said we need, and Sim Land. Sim Land's another keto person to watch. He's really good. Um, they say you need extra salt when you're on keto and he takes them at their word. So I think once in a while Taco gets too much salt and drinks a bunch of water and it doesn't matter how many times we take him out before we go to bed. He pees on the floor. Anyway, so I have a couple of new spots on the floor that I need to shampoo that I haven't gotten to. All right, I'm just gonna take this on my eyelid too. The, uh, Painterly really held up well yesterday. My shadow looked good until I took it off. So I'll probably do painterly again today. I had some questions about the lashes. I do not nor on my set. I don't do the same thing every time ever. You know, maybe for a week I'll do the same thing. Uh, I had somebody asking about the lashes. Do I put half la half lashes on? Well, I put half lashes on me once in a while. Sometimes I do whole the whole lash and sometimes I do the half lash. But on my clients, I take uh, with a demi wispy most often if they have big eyes, I put the whole lash on. I lay it on their lash line and measure it, and I put, and then I 
you know, glue the whole lash on. If I lay it down and it extends or it pulls her eye down, I cut like, usually it's three, three clumps off the end. They're young and they can handle a heavy lash, but their eyes are a little bit, you know, I need to trim some off. Sometimes I'll glue that piece onto the end and make the ends even thicker. So I'll trim off three clumps and then I'll glue them on the end of the lash. I don't do the same thing every time. I just go as the spirit leads. That, that's, that's, but anyway, most often I use a Demi Wispy and I trim three clumps off the end and I try to arrange the lash so it doesn't go, that it goes. Sometimes it doesn't follow their lash line. Sometimes it goes out and I have to fill it in with some black liner or something. Anyway, but on me, my new Jag is uh, a half a lash on the outside corners. And it works out perfect because I have such round eyes and they're little. I have little beady eyes like a possum. Okay, now what I'm gonna since the Annie Lawless palette is out here, I'm going to use it. I have my little brush back again. This is the Sephora Multitasker Concealer brush and it's been in my kit and I've missed it dearly. This old friend. I'm gonna take a really old brush here. I got this at Saks about 21 years ago. How do I know it's 21? Because my son was just born and I went to Saks for a makeover so I wouldn't feel like killing myself because I was fat and frumpy. I did. I felt like a million bucks after that. And that was the beginning of me getting back in shape. I'm using the color Baby. It's a fleshy pink. This week has really gone by fast. I know it's only Wednesday. So my uh, cable went out last night. I was in the middle of watching Breaking Point, the ballet reality drama show from the CW. It's from 2016, I think is what the date I saw on it. Y'all wanna come in? Anyway, the electricity went out. Not the electricity, the Wi-Fi. So that was all she wrote. I started reading and I went to sleep before putting my eyelash serum on. So I put it on this morning and so I won't be able to wear lashes because the lashes don't stick to eyelash serum. I'm going to wear Cutie. It's that pinky glitter. I shouldn't have put uh, my primer on yet, but I did. But I'm not short on time this morning. I'm not short on time, so if I have to backtrack, that's okay. Yeah, there, there's a lot of fall down from that. That's pretty. Yeah, and I have a ton of it underneath my, I did it sloppy though. It's not the shadow's fault. It's me, not you. I don't know where my muslin everything cloth went that I keep at my vanity. That's what I need to do. I need to, I need to put heavy curtains on that window or something. All right. Let's take a point. That was, that was just one of those shape brushes. Now I'm going to take one of those shape brushes. And this one's a Sigma. 
That doesn't usually happen. I must have had that one a long time. It's E45. I'm going to take the color Shady. And I'm going to do some shading over here on the corner. I'm filling in between the crease and the lash line on the outside corner like that. Tree frogs are going nuts out there. That's what we got so far. Now I'm going to take plunge. I'll take a pencil brush. All these brushes are still sitting out from yesterday. And I'm going to The motion that I'm thinking of here is the outside lashes fanning up. And then I'm going to go back with my... Where is my... Somebody's been in my bedroom, in my room again, foffing around with my stuff. I'm going to take a little bit of baby and a little bit of first base. First base is that shadow that I usually use to set my painterly, my eyeshadow primer. I didn't set it today. I guess that's because I'm not doing this look for you guys, I'm, and it doesn't matter whether it messes up or not. I'm doing it for me, because I'm going to work. I'm just allowed, I'm just, uh, we're just visiting. All right. This brush is supposed to be, the idea is this brush is supposed to be a clean, fluffy brush to blend on the outside. All my people are on vacation, so nothing is getting done around here. All right, I like that so far. I'm gonna, I did like the uh, Trish McAvoy. Where's my trash can? Oh, this is the Trish McAvoy, this is the Trish McAvoy Arabian Nights. I'm gonna wear this today without the black. powder floating on the contact. One of my viewers, I think her name, I think it was Donna, said that she puts her contacts in after she does her makeup. Well, one of the reasons that I got the contacts was so I could see to put my makeup on. And and so that I could read labels without putting glasses on. All right. Oh, here we go. Forgot we had the spongy end here. Okay, I'm going to take a Q-tip, get that good and smudgy. I hope this doesn't turn out looking stupid. All right, I'm going to use a pencil. I saw a good makeup video. It was a makeup artist that I've never heard of. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean she's not anybody. It just means I've never heard of her. Doing Rosie Huntington White Lace makeup. When you watch that, you'll want to get out your pen and paper. I don't think they list the products down below in the description box. You have to pay attention as they go. That's the way I used to do it. 
Now I have links. I'm not sure what purpose it serves. <laughs> uh, except for unless you want to go take a look at, see what the product looks like. Anyway, if y'all enjoy being able to go look at the product on the site, let me know in the comments. I guess it's that's that's the point. It gives you it gives you the price and what the product looks like. That's what I think. That's what y'all are using my links for. And then your price shop. You're looking for a better. <laughs> you're looking for a better place to buy it. Obviously, okay. Which doesn't matter because I'm independently wealthy anyway. I don't. I don't need the the income off of YouTube. This is just a little little side hobby. All right, I'm gonna take the something happened one day. One of these products was really gooey, and it annoyed me. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, I know. I think it it was the color tint and tame from Sigma. It annoyed me. So I've been avoiding wet brow products lately. In this uh, video with uh, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, she created a really full bushy brow. And she used brow soap. There we go. Now, do I need to fill it? It looks like I have a little gap right in here. There we go. The eyes look like... I'm not happy with the eye look. They look stupid. All right, the sun's coming up now, as you can see. So this side of my face is gonna be somewhat shaded. Maybe. We'll do the best we can. The, the eye makeup looks like crap too. I don't know what to do about it. I guess I wasn't inspired today. All right. I lost my highlight underneath my eye. So this is the Maybelline Clicky Pen. Dream Lumi in Radiant. It's really hard to see with the glare. That fixed it a little bit. There we go. That fixed it. My I don't know what happened with this look. It's not that I'm overtired and I don't feel like doing it. It's just maybe I just wasn't inspired today. Okay. All right, I'm risking making a mess. I'm taking a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to take a little brush. And I'm going to go in. Because it's just all muddied up. There we go. One more concealer. This is the uh, Beyond Perfecting, the Clinique is this Super Concealer, something like that. All right, I cleaned up that a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn the brush over and put first base in there. That is really an ugly look. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh dear. All right, let's just put some mascara on. Let's see if that helps. My mascara held up really nice yesterday. It was the Christian the Vuitton. So I'll use that again today. Right over the top of my lash serum. All right, it's looking better already. 
plástica. Let's put some nude on the waterline. I like the way that looked yesterday. I don't think I have, did I put foundation on yet? I did put foundation on. Golly, I'm losing my mind. Actually, I'm not losing my mind. I'm just, just not hitting a home run today. Let's go ahead with some spray. I'm gonna use the rose spray. And I'm using this fan. It was looking chalky. That's why I did that. I was looking for more of a getting the dew back versus long wear when I was going with that. I'm putting the color infatuation down here. It's a wine color. And then I'm going to take feels, which is an orange. Put it there. All right, I'm, I'm getting happier with my look. Now let's do some contouring. I'm gonna use some stuff out of my MAC pack. This is out of my kit. I'm gonna use the color Raisin. I know. Getting, I'm getting brazen by using raisin. I think it's kind of sheer. What formula is that? What good does it do to have glass of eye contacts if I still can't read? Yeah, I don't know which formula of their blush, the MAC blush that is. But it's not the super pigmented where you have to be frightened. I'm going to pull out my Fit Me Fard. I'm gonna take this little brush here. It's a small duo fiber from Sigma. It's F55. The reason my lashes are sticking together is because I used my lash serum this morning instead of last night. I don't know what's wrong with me, why I keep forgetting. Wow, I would say this is the most difficult look I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> I know, it's a little, a little bit, a little bit not true. That was a blush I just stuck out there. And the color is rhubarb. Put it out here. I like that. And 
then Fields, which is an orange from the Lawless palette right there. And then, I hate to take any of the Fit Me powder because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to mat out any of this. I feel dry today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Here's some of the La Mer. I like to clean up the bronzer so it doesn't look like I fell asleep in my palette or something. Cheek down in my palette. I like it to look a little more intentional than just all over just all over the side of the face. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with me. I look old. I don't want that color lip. I don't like any of my stuff. <laughs> I don't like any of it. It's all stupid. I'm looking for a lip pencil. I don't want burgundy. How about if we just don't do a lip pencil? Oh, here's Suburbia. We'll do Suburbia. If you want a truly long wear lip liner. Suburbia by Pat McGrath. Now let's find a, a lippy. I'm gonna put on Ariana Grande Viva Glam. And then... I'm going to take this Maybelline...